All right guys, welcome back to another installment of Beyond the Blueprint and today we're gonna to be looking at something that I recently talked about in a What the Franchise video and that is going to be player scouting and what we hit on in that video was that the, the fact that scouting in CFM is very shallow and only creates a very limited picture of what a player may or may not be. Uh, but when we look at scouting, it's, it's really the only thing that kind of connects you to the next step of your franchise and it's somewhat like a bridge into your next season. Everything else with the exception of maybe re-signing players is just reactionary type tasks uh, based on what's happening and what's going on within your CFM and when you essentially take that, that that bridge into your next season and make it such a monotonous and uninteresting task, it plays a pretty significant role in why things are so difficult to make it through multiple seasons without things becoming stale or boring. So when we look at scouting, the main thing we're looking to do is make it more interesting, more in-depth, uh, and more authentic uh, to the greatest extent that we can without making things too overwhelming, too cumbersome, or too complicated. Uh, scouting is something that is one of those things that it's essential, but it's also something that no matter what you do, it's not going to be something that's exciting. Uh, but you can make up for that fact by making it something that is interesting and engaging in a way that makes you think and use your brain a little bit. I'm going to get to some mock later on but first I want to hit on a few things that can essentially be used as templates for a scouting system and are things that I've based a lot of what I've done off of uh, so first off this is something that I saw on NFL live last year and it was from Bill Polian who's a Hall of Fame GM and as you can see it's a standard draft prospect profile uh, so you have the obvious stuff like the name uh, school and measurables and then you get into things like the primary slash area scout reports secondary cross check all-star reports statistical evaluation interviews and then intangible review uh, so that's a really good list and outside of the interviews I think all of that is stuff that I think would translate well into a video game and more specifically Madden scouting system and the second thing here is something that I came across online a few years ago and it's a Raiders draft evaluation binder from the 2010 draft and it has a bunch of scouting reports on prospects done by the members of the Raiders coaching staff along with some other things like a grading scale and then positional overviews of the draft class and it's super interesting. Uh, so as you're seeing, there there's scouting reports on guys like Jimmy Clausen and then Sam Bradford, Cam Chancellor, and this is something I'll link in the description because it's something that I think is really cool. But when you look at these, it's very similar to how Madden scouting used to be set up back in the day with the scouting reports with little blurbs about certain traits and positives or weaknesses of a player. And that's the kind of scouting that I'd like to see Madden get back to. So again, when I look at these, I feel like they're a great template for a scouting system within Madden and there is a ton of usable ideas to take from these all while being realistic and not overly complicated either uh, so like I mentioned before you're going to see with the mock-ups uh, that these both heavily influence the kind of scouting system that I had mocked up in the original uh, connected franchise post and what I would like to see within Madden so before I get to the mock-ups, I'm going to quickly run through how I'd like to see scouting handled as a process. If you watch the What the Franchise video on scouting, then you already know that I don't want it to have to be something that you have to do and be mostly information that you get and can influence a bit. Uh, so the idea would basically be that you'd hire regional scouts for the West, the Midwest, the South, and then the Northeast. Uh, you could have like five regions, however you want to do that, but for this example, I'm just going to use four. But basically these scouts would deal with all the prospects within their regions and have ratings and or traits uh, similar to players that determined how accurate their evaluations were and how good a scout they were, which is something that I'll hit on as I go through these mock-ups as well. But the first mock-up here deals with coach evaluation. So this is a lot like what I just showed you with the Raiders uh, draft binder where you have a coach evaluating the prospect and is basically an expanded version of that old Madden scouting style. Uh, in addition to the strengths and weaknesses report, you get some additional information to the side like a player comparison which compares the prospect to an NFL player giving you a slight hint at their ability and their player make. Uh, and then there's also a slight hint at the player's current overall as well as potentially their dev trait in the short term and long term projection for the prospect and then lastly you have the overall rank of the player for his position. A couple of things here though I think the presentation of the strengths and weaknesses could obviously be tightened up and simplified so that they were uh, presented more in a bullet point form rather than the paragraphs which just makes things a little bit easier to consume uh, and then also when I made these mock-ups before this was essentially the main scouting report but I think a better way to do things would to be to have these scouting reports come from those regional scouts 
scouts that I mentioned and then have a similar but more kind of limited or basic scouting report come from the coaches as well uh, to kind of hit on that Bill Polian point of having a secondary cross check uh, with each prospect. One last thing here in terms of how good a scout is with the statements or the bullet points is that you could basically have a system to where you have a bunch of varying statements for each level or tier that that attribute or trait might be and the better the scout the more reliable that information would be while a lesser scout might pluck a statement from a tier above or below uh, where that rating actually falls to emulate overestimating or underestimating a player's ability and potential. So for example, for a quarterback's throw accuracy, you could have 10 different varying statements to describe having great accuracy, average accuracy, poor accuracy, and so on. And if the quarterback has a great accuracy in reality, uh, then you could have your good scout would be more likely to have one of those 10 varying statements describing his great accuracy on the scouting report while a lesser scout or a poor scout you may get something uh, one of those 10 from saying he has amazing accuracy or that he simply has average accuracy and the same thing would kind of apply to the coach reports as well and then based on those is how projections and rankings uh, could change or would be formed and play out. Moving on here to the attribute grades, which is basically just an extension of the scouting report where you can get a look at some of the attributes that aren't mentioned or that are actually hit on in the scouting report. And as you can see here, you're gonna get more than just their three best and get pretty much everything relevant to their position. So it's not it's more than just a simplified picture of the prospect. Uh, and here it's done in letter grades, but this could be done in any, any way really, uh, whether it be numeric or alphabetic, whatever. Uh, but I took away the plus minus designations to make Make things a little bit more obscured since you are getting more information there uh, but basically this is just a basic picture to where if you don't want to have to deal with the scouting reports and the wordage there um, then you can just look at this and you still get a basic overview of what the player is or may not be and then here you get a roundup of projections for the player from a few different sources. So again, you have the position coach. And then here I had a scouting agency mocked up, but that is something that could be easily replaced by your regional scout. Um, and then below those, you get projections from the quote unquote draft experts or draft analysts, uh, which is more of just a cosmetic and kind of immersion thing, uh, but still could hold a, a tiny bit of relevance uh, if you wanted to take that into consideration. But the two main sources are going to be your regional scout and your your position coach for each player again here more of a cosmetic thing with the player's college stats for the most part like I said this is going to be cosmetic uh, but it could hint at some things like if a running back has a ton of carries it might hint at him having a lower durability uh, you could also hint at things like one-year wonders or hint at a player's development trait uh, with how his college career has arced uh, but for the most part I think this is just a cool thing to have and to look at rather than it being something that is going to play a significant role in evaluating a player so here you get the basic combine data and the results that you're used to. You could also throw in pro days into this to kind of fluctuate the data a little bit. But as you can see to the right of that, you're also going to get a Spark score. And for those of you that don't know, Spark is an acronym for speed, power, agility, reaction, and quickness. And it's essentially an attempt to quantify a person's athleticism into a rating. It's something that's becoming more and more popular within the NFL. Uh, I know the Seahawks have used it a bunch and then John Dorsey was using it pretty significantly when he was with the Chiefs as well. But basically think of this as a substitution or a replacement for the combine grade as well as the physical rating within franchise. Um, the cool thing with this is that you can apply it to every player, not just the draft prospects. Um, so you could compare draft prospects to the players that are either currently in the NFL or are within your franchise to basically get an idea of their athletic ability. Um, and then another cool possibility here would be the ability to adapt that formula to your specific liking. So maybe you prefer speed over strength in your players so you could have the ability to tweak the rating formula to more heavily favor faster players while slower players would have a much lower rating in this case uh, because you are favoring those faster players. This is also something that you could give to the user at the beginning of the season as well without the combine or the pro day data to basically allow them to gauge what type of player they were physically, which is something that Madden doesn't really account for in that you're essentially scouting guys blindly without knowing anything about how fast, strong, or agile that they are. 
And then lastly here, you get the medical eval that hints at a player's durability and where he may be at most risk for injury. Uh, so obviously this would take some expanding of Madden's current injury system, which is something I haven't really gotten into yet. Uh, but basically each body part has its own durability and injury rating similar to how 2K does things. Uh, but alongside that, you get a player's injury history along with their injury risk and overall durability uh, and then an overall medical grade as well. One last thing I wanted to touch on here was like I said at the beginning and in the What The Franchise video, I don't think scouting should be a task and that you shouldn't have to pick and choose the players that you get information on and you shouldn't have to do it weekly. Um, I think all of this should be provided for you and that information should basically vary uh, based on other factors that you have a role in deciding within the franchise, like who your coaches and who your scouts are. Um, I think if you wanted to keep it as a weekly thing though, you could have something to where basically each week a different position position is highlighted and you could go through and look at players and rank players at that position if you so chose but you didn't have to uh, but that choice would always be there you could also have something to where each week you choose a player or a few players to basically take a closer look at and maybe get a little bit more in-depth evaluation on uh, something like that but overall I don't think scouting is something that you should have to pick and choose and I don't think it's something that needs to be a weekly task I think that's gonna do it though let me know what you guys think of having scouting set up in this way as well as any additional ideas that you have for how you'd like to see scouting handled uh, I think my next what the franchise video is going to look at something to do with the preseason so that should be up early next week and then I think the next beyond the blueprint will be on authentic broadcast presentation uh, which should also be up next week but like I said let me know how you'd like to see scouting handled in the comments hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching